We're gonna change the rear differential fluid on this 2017 Jeep Renegade. Using a 10 millimeter Allen on a socket. And then we're gonna come underneath the Jeep here. This is a Trailhawk, so I have a little more uh, clearance. We're gonna remove our uh, fill plug right up here. Make sure you get that broke loose first. You can remove that and nothing should drain out or else that means it's overfilled. Now we're gonna remove our drain plug is right here. Both the drain plug and the fill plug are normal right hand threads. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, I'm gonna let that drain for a few minutes. Go ahead, wipe off the metal slivers from your oil drain plug magnet. Both the drain plug and the fill plug have this brass looking washer. Keep an eye out for it and don't lose it. Might stick to the housing. Your 10 millimeter Allen on a socket, on a torque wrench. We're gonna torque our drain plug to 26 foot pounds. So I got about 16 uh, fluid ounces out. That's factory fill, just on the low side. I'm gonna be putting Valvoline 7590 full synthetic. That is a GL5 gear oil. We got our specifications here. We're gonna need uh, just over uh, 20 ounces. Uh, some people use a fluid transfer pump. I got one of these uh, flex fills left over another project. So in here I have the uh, correct amount of fluid. I'm just going to use that and fill up uh, this. And um, it'll make this process nice and simple. Just using a vise to hold the uh, empty bag and fill it up with the correct amount of fluid here. So now we're filling. This is why I love these flex bags because they literally go anywhere. We're just going to squeeze this till we uh, get all the fluid out of the bag and into the uh, rear diff. All right, now we're going to check the fluid level in there by grabbing a trusty Allen wrench tool. We're gonna take our Allen wrench tool and we're just gonna dip it in there. Try to keep it level. Then we'll pull it out. We're gonna grab our calipers, measure the oil line. We're right about at 10 millimeters. Factory specs 13 to 15, just a hair overfilled, which is fine. Some people even just fill it till it starts coming out of the fill plug. I don't think it makes that big of a deal. So now we're going to go ahead and screw this bad boy back on. We're going to torque our fill plug to the same 26 foot-pounds. And with that, the rear differential fluid has been changed. If you've got any questions, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.